Hi, every Hi everyone, <clears throat> welcome to Karen from Tillycrafts.co.uk. I'm just bobbing on today to show you um, these fab cards. Um, I'm taking part in the blog in the Poodler's blog hop um, with swaps from the mini catalogue for August to December. So this is the catalogue, um, and a lot of demonstrators got together, um, and we all make six cards send them out and then we get six cards back and get some inspiration from them so i've decided to use this fabulous suite it's called trimming the town suite and i've used um the designer series paper i've used the stamp set and dies and i've used this fabulous ribbon i've got a piece here very thin it's uh, an eighth of an inch it's in poppy parade um, and it also comes with the old olive green one. So that's the two colours, the main two colours in this suite. Um, it also has Poppy Parade, well, just said Poppy Parade and Old Olive, Pool Party, Misty Moonlight and Early Espresso. So I prepared most of the things, but I'm going to show you how I got the effect for the house. Now, when I was playing with this suite, this is my first card I came up with and... I actually cut this house out of the designer series paper um, and I think it looks fab but when I came to do, to do my swaps I'd used most of the paper up so I didn't have enough of the same house and the, um, the whole idea of the swaps is to do identical cards so I thought what can I do so I used this house out of the, uh, the coming home set uh, I stamped it and I used my blend. So I'm going to show you how I coloured it in. Um, the only thing was on this one, it had a chimney that I could use to smoke. But on as you can see on this one, it hasn't got a chimney. So I did a terrible thing and I cut the chimney off this one because that one was too big to go on thing. And I uh, stamped it onto here. So I couldn't use the dice to cut out this. But however, I've used the dice to cut these out, the car, the tree, and the, the tree with no leaves on. So I'm sure a lot of you will gasp in shock horror. So let's just get started and I'll move these out of the way. All right. So... Oh, I've used also used because coming home doesn't have any sentiments in it. I have used the itty bitty Christmas and I love this one from our house to yours. So that is the sentiment I've used, which I better grab out. Uh, it's got to be this one because I've uh, used that quite a lot. <laughs> and I also use the dies. Um, for the Stitch So Sweetly dies and I've used the two biggest ones so I've cut my bases out in Old Olive in the big one the DSP out in that one and white layers out in that one um, I went a bit mad when I was doing them and I've already cut these out so I've already stuck it on the card so it's just flat on the card love this paper I did have to end up ordering some more because I really like it. Right, let's get these out of the way. <clears throat> so, I've already pre-stamped these. Um, so I was just going to show you how I did them. Car was straightforward. I used Mango Melody light and dark and i think my pussy cat is just coming to say hello or maybe not he's just stood on the end of the table so for these no massive blending on them i've just basically gone round the bumper and this little bit at the bottom and the lights on there and then with the light one, just going around. It's just basically a quick, easy card to put together, but I think it's quite effective. And it gave me a chance to use my blends, which I love. So that was the card done, and I just used Smoky Slate for the tyres.
and that was the card on I'm really chuffed with that one and then I used the dies to cut it out which I've got one here that light blue Peter already done um, the tree for the stump I'm just trying to think did I use a darker one I'm not too sure I might not have used this one but yeah I did so the tree this is dark soft suede and then for the leaves I've used the fabulous new in colour just jade and I just basically went round it I did I was going to shade it but I just ended up doing the top of the tree and the bottom of the tree in the dark and the best thing about these is they dry with no lines when it's dry some of them I did do a bit of shading on and others I just decided to do it like this. So fabulous colour this, right Christmas colour. I have got some projects coming up where I have been doing blending of the flowers and things like that. But I just wanted it straightforward and easy for these. Um, There's my tree. Now, this one, all I did was stamp it in a crumb cake and cut it out with a die. And this is the big one. Right, so you can see I've stuck my chimney on. So I've got light and dark soft suede. So all I did was go over the roof. chimney and then I just went over the black lines with the dark soft suede to give that plank effect and then I just went over it with the light and I'm not too bothered about going over the window because I'm going to stick a wreath on it can you hear the concentration in me <laughs> if I keep going quiet that was the roof done and then I wanted where's my card where's my original card is it there it's about no one minute that's it, all the hours look the same, I can't see, my, there is my original. So can you see how it's got like a boarded effect across here and the windows have got like little lines on them. So I wanted to recreate that. So I took my smoky slate and the bullet tip end and I just went over and put, no I didn't actually, I lied to you. I actually did it with stamp right markers and I just need to grab them. I thought that was a bit thick on there. Yeah, I've got a smoky slate in the stamp right markers and these are a lot thinner. So I just went over and I just put, can you see how these are a lot thinner? And just put a couple of marks in the window so it gives the effect of the uh, glass and I did a couple in there like that afterwards when I finished it I went over with my Winker Stella over the windows and it looks really good now to create the effect of the uh, the planks I got my dark pool party and just basically put stripes down it like this. I don't have to be perfect. And 
and see if I'd have thought about it. <laughs> but I didn't think about doing the swaps at first. And then I wanted to use all my paper up. <laughs> and then I just went over it with the light pool party. In fact, I might have done the light pool party first. Then when it dries, it gives the uh, the wooden plank effect. There we go. And the door just was my puppy parade. I do like Poppy Parade, it is nice bright red. There we go. And then I got my Wink of Stella. And I just went over the windows and it gives that frosted glistening look. And because I'd stuck the chimney on, like I say, I couldn't use um the dies to cut this lovely little else out so I just had to fussy cut it out which as you can see it doesn't take long fussy cut in straight lines is uh isn't too bad probably will be making some more of these cards up because I just love the layout and the sentiment so that was basically the house done straight away just gonna have a look did I bring one over no I didn't <clears throat> so we'll have to use this one I'll just straighten it up a little bit Mind you, if you leave a bit of white on it, it might look like there's snow on the house. So there we go. So that was it done. Straightforward and easy. Um, the other thing we had to do, where's my uh, piece of paper? And that is the sentiment. Let's just get my poppy parade. <clears throat> Grab a block. Oh. It feels so weird doing um, Christmas. I mean, I'm filming this now and it's uh, August. There we go. Well, that's it. I love the way it's stamped. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? It's like got little outlines around it. Uh, then I got this is the rectangular postage label and I just popped that in there, but I popped it quite down to the bottom and lined it up and stamped it because what I wanted to do was to feed this back in whoops, and make the stamp a bit smaller. Like this. And then get a poppy prayed one. And layer it up like that. So I know, know I need to put it back in and cut it a bit smaller. So to do that, I just stuck this down.
like that popped it back in leveled it up and then I did the same with that side I'll find where it goes in now so you can make smaller shapes to fit inside each one that's a little bit wonky but I do have one here that I prepared earlier but you get the idea but you could do that with anything if you wanted a smaller one and layer it up on this one so that is uh, pretty good right need to put it together now so I use season's greetings from the itty bitty Christmas and pop that on there that's just glued down I've already glued this on here and what I need to do is I need to put this on like so but before I stuck it down I did the smoke coming out of the chimney because on one of them that I did I didn't judge I put the, it too far up so you couldn't see it so I know I roughly want it about there so if I stamp the smoke down first oops my cat's just knocking everything off the windowsill and then you can just line it up where you want it like so and then next I brought in the little snowflakes out of the set, the coming home set the smoke in this about the coming home set and then I just got my snowflakes stamped once, stamped again once, stamped again and then they give different shades I just did that over the rest of the paper put a couple along the bottom and one off there that's all I did with that quite effective quite like it um next i got my tree and for this one i just put a little bit of glue on the back let's see if there's any on that that's it and then just placed him next to the house like so but then my car and my uh, tree, I actually put up on dimensionals. I'm just going to shut this ink pad before I put something in it. Right, dimensionals. Oh, I've just remembered I've run out of thought. It's got to make the draw. gone through so many of these lately <laughs> having a ball with them all right put the big one on and there big one on the bottom and i'm just going to cut a little bit for the top because i don't want it as thick there we go them off oops I'm gonna put my tree on first just wanted it about there and then the car at the front of the house like so there we go um I needed a a wreath for that and on one of the papers it's got little tiny wreaths so I just even though there is a um, there's a die that does cut this out I just uh, fussy cut it out I don't mind fussy cutting and the trick to doing this is you move the paper not the scissors and I find it quite relaxing don't know what you all like with fussy cutting <laughs> But saying that, I have bought more dies because I got the brand new 
um, stamping cotton emboss machine and I absolutely love it. I've not stopped playing with it since I got it. So a lot more my projects will have die cuts on them and I should be able to get it on my table. There we go, let's bob that on there. Bring in this. And I did actually put this up on dimensionals as well. Just to give it a bit of dimension. Put one in each corner. One in the middle. I think it's quite a cute set. I haven't even begun to start playing with the dies. And there's a brilliant one uh, that gives the effect of uh, a hill with trees on in the background. I did do one card with it. I had a quick play and I thought, oh, I really like that, but I don't know where it is, so I can't grab it and show you. <laughs> right, oh, this one. So on this one, we want to stick it on the side like that. So down this side, we want a couple of uh, dimensionals and then a bit of glue here on the other side. So when it sticks, it can stick on top of that. Oops. Right, so and then the only other thing we need is one of these little ribbons. Now, I've already pre made one, but they are quite easy to do, so I'm going to attempt to do one. <laughs> and then, if I make a mess, I've got a spare one here. So I can't, it's my fingers don't work sometimes. Right. I told you it's my fingers and it is lovely ribbon this and like I say it's in old olive as well so oh, that's not too bad let's just put it on there my scissors these are my ribbon scissors they've got purple on so I don't get all sticky stuff over them and stick the ribbon on I just used these glue dots just rolled it up a little bit so it fits under the knot nicely and then I just bobbed it down there there we go so I hope you've enjoyed that um like I say this will be going out on the September the 12th I think the actual blog hop is let me just check my diary yeah the no, it isn't. I'm lying to you. It's not a blog op. We have got a blog op in September, but it's not this project. This is a swaps project. Oh, I'm cracking up today. I tell you what, it's been a really tough day at work. So this isn't a blog op. This is purely swaps catalogs. Um, yeah, the new catalog swaps for the autumn winter. So what I'll do is, even though I've filmed this now. When I receive my swaps back, I'll do a video on my swaps and then I'll post both videos together. But I just wanted to, I to see how I made it. Whoops, just not the camera. And just to see how I, I coloured the house in. So that was my inspirational one. I did try and recreate this bumpy effect on one and it looked horrendous when I'd done it. So I scrapped that idea. Um, yep, yeah, so there's my other six cards ready to go off. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that even though I've messed it up of what it was and when it's going out um, it probably won't get posted until the end of September maybe October because we've got to wait for everybody else's swaps to come in anyway thank you very much for joining me speak to you all soon bye